Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Uh, today I'll be showing you uh, how I look like when I'm teaching online to my students for English. <laughs> okay, we're just gonna be just. I want you to, to observe <laughs> what I do. All right, I'll be doing this in a moment. Hello. Yes, hi. Can you see and hear me? Can you see and hear me? Oh, now can you hear me? Okay, so hello. So how are you? And what, what is your name again? Oh yeah, Leo. All right, Leo, so what did you do before this class? Oh, so you made the paper plain. Wow. <laughs> oh, that looks nice. Okay, so Leo, we have another lesson today. Lesson six, and it's about scarecrows, yes. So we'll be reading the story, and I want you to make sure you can find the missing glasses. Yes, it's not here, but it'll be in the book. Hope we can find it. So we have picture number one. Let's start reading. Look at the birds, she said. Go away, yes, go away, go away. on it. He called it Fred. Yes. <laughs> yeah, looks like an old man. Okay, so Biff, maybe she's not happy about about the scarecrow. Maybe she wants it to be a girl. <laughs> yeah, she did. They be, the key began. King. I am alive. To live? There is no such thing as to live. To live? There is. Yes. 
to have life. I'm alive means he has life. Yes, because you have feelings and you're alive. A person, an animal or plant that is living, it's not dead, that is alive. Air. Okay, so can you see the missing glasses and picture nine? On the ground. Yes, there you go. So you found the missing glasses. But be careful, maybe there are more. There could be more missing glasses. in the lane. A barn dance is a dance where it happens at a barn. So you can find a barn on a farm. Then the scarecrows. Why can't why can't they come? Can you guess? Yes, because they aren't scarecrows. They're humans, so they're not allowed to the dance. Weren't. couldn't Pumpkin head. So what is, or what are, what is the idea of Biff and Chip? Yeah, you can guess. Yeah, so that's the idea, is to put Fred into the garden. Maybe they're going to add more scarecrows. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, so there are girl scarecrows. <laughs> Wonderful reading. Okay, let's give you two for that. Two stars. Okay. Now, the activities you have done number one, since you read it dramatically. Now we'll go to number two. I want you to sound out these words. to number three. Tell what the story is about. Close and made a scarecrow. I'm alive. He, so Fred had an idea. He helped Biff and Chip dress into scarecrows. Alright, so they had fun, right? Yes. So, when they were still dancing, what happened next? The magic key. <laughs> Girls, girl scarecrows. And lastly,
mom. Mom was the one that said that. Said that. Yes. Okay, so DM. Alright, so good job. I can see that you can comprehend. So that's how you retell the story. Don't forget, when you retell the story, to use sequence. So you need adverbs of sequence like first, next, then, after that, and finally. Okay, so uh, you did good, you did good, no problems. So let's give you a check for that and a uh, reward. Let's give you a lollipop. Uh, there you go. Okay, so number four. Talk about your favorite part of the story. Go back. Okay, let me go back. This page, okay. So, which picture do you like best? Oh, picture number 15. <laughs> so why do you like picture number 15? Why is it your favorite? Do you like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> Do you know how to dance? No? Oh. Have you seen a real scarecrow? I have. But they can be... They can be frightening. They can be scary. Yes. I'll show you what we have on our farm. Yes, they're on the farm. So they scare different types of birds. Okay, so let me show you. So scarecrows, I like happy scarecrows. Like this. Something that's that has a smile on their face. Yes, they're not scary. I don't like the ones that are scary. I see scarecrows with just like this. Just a hat on and some clothes. But the scariest ones I've seen was on a cornfield. I'll show you. Yes, very scary. That's why some little boys and girls don't like to play in the field. Because they're scary. Yes, yeah, for Halloween. Yes, yeah, feels like they're, they're alive. Oh yes. Okay, so you did wonderful. So we have done number four, three, two, one. We don't need to rewrite the story. We can't write on, it'll take a lot of time. But what we're going to do is, we're going to go to number two again. So these words, I want you to try to use each word in your own sentence. You can make up any sentence you want, but make sure you use the word. For example, the word is old. I seen or I've seen an old person walk by. All right, perfect. Next, let's use I'm in a sentence. I'm going, okay, I'm going to play ping pong, perfect. Time, let's use time in a sentence. What time is it? <laughs> How about you? How about you? Yes. 
A long time ago. Perfect. All right. You said that it was six o'clock. Is it six o'clock? Twenty. Yes, three twenty. All right. So next word, house. Let's use house. Yeah, your yeah, house is a trash. No, you can say my. I'm in my house. Let's use made. Made is the past tense for make. Yes, you made a paper plane. Came. Came is also a past tense verb for come. Came to my friend's birthday party. Make. Mmm, yummy. Inside. Why is it inside its cage? Poor little thing. Okay. Next one. Let's use looked. Past tense for look. Hmm, looking, you're using you're using it as a continuous tense. She looked, my mom looked at her phone. Next one, another past tense, which is called. Past tense for call. So this is a regular verb. have couldn't. So couldn't is a contraction of could not. I couldn't dance. Okay. <laughs> Me too. I, I'm not a very good dancer. Alright. So remember that. That couldn't is a contraction of could not. And our last one is jumped. Jumping rope, jumping again, is a continuous. I jumped on my bed last night. Past tense, because it's yesterday. It was last night. It happened before. Yeah, yesterday, I jumped around. All right, so fantastic. Let's give you a 100% for today's achievement. There you go. So that's what you need to do. Just keep exposing yourself to English. Keep learning new words and try to use them in your own sentence. Don't forget that reading is also essential in learning a language. So just keep on doing it, okay? So I'll see you again next time. And what is your name? I forgot your name. Ella? No, no, the, your sister? Your sister? Yeah. Olivia, yes, Olivia. Okay. 
All right, so I'll see you both next time. You have a nice day, a nice afternoon. You take care. Bye-bye. Oh, what a nice little student I had. So that's how we, that's how my expression looks. Just have to keep smiling when you're teaching children. <laughs> okay, so there you go. Hope you liked the video.